Hello and welcome to today's video. I'm gonna be doing our nine month update, nine months in, nine months out, what's going on, how is my daughter doing, how am I doing, what's changed, if anything. So if that interests you, definitely wanna stick around. We're just gonna jump right into it. Before I go too much further, I just want to say thank you so much for clicking on this video. It literally means so much. Like, I'm really, really working on my YouTube, upping my quality, just putting a lot of love and time into it, especially as like a first time mom, it's hard to do that and find that balance and prioritize like a passion of yours. And this is something I've Sorry to go on a rant. I've loved YouTube for so long, so I'm really putting myself into it. So the fact that you clicked on this video means so much. If you wanna give it a like, that would be amazing. It does so much for my channel. Subscribe. I don't know if you watched my 2023 New Year's resolutions video, but one of my resolutions is to get to 500 subscribers this year. So if you wanna help me out in that, I'll love you forever. Okay, let's jump in to the nine month update. All right, first I just wanna say if there's any like moms who haven't made it to the nine month mark, maybe you're in the thick of it in the newborn stage and you're just feeling kind of down or maybe like you don't know what to expect for the future, things can feel very permanent in that fourth trimester. So I understand the feeling. I just wanna start and say it gets better. I swear, it really does get better. Sleep gets better. Being able to like do things for yourself gets better. It really genuinely does get easier. It gets way more fun in my opinion. I'm not a mom who like idolizes the newborn stage. That to me was a very hard experience, it's very challenging. I really love the stage that we're in right now. <laughs> And I'll talk a little bit about that in this video, why I love this stage so much. But I just wanna say a little disclaimer to any moms who maybe haven't gone through this yet. Like if you're feeling, if you love the newborn stage and you've loved everything, every part of it, that's amazing. But if you haven't, it gets better. I'm sure toddlerhood is a whole other beast of its own, but like Lily is my first baby. So I can only speak from this perspective of a mom who has her first and only child who is nine months old. So just remember that, that is my perspective from this video. But uh, okay, we'll cover Lily first and then I'll talk about how I'm doing after we cover my daughter. Lily is a firecracker. <laughs> She really, she really is just sassy, full of character, full of spunk, so adventurous, like no fears, which is terrifying, but also amazing. She's into everything now. She's opening cabinets. We gotta lock up our cleaning supplies and she's pretty reckless. Like she's pretty accident prone, I would say, but she recovers pretty quickly. She absolutely loves food. She loves banana right now. Spaghetti is her like all time favorite meal. Sweet potatoes, carrots, avocado. I'll make her like a, you know, chili, like basically anything, rice and beans. She devours a rice and bean. She just loves food. She's a really, really good eater. So I'm very lucky in that aspect. We've been doing baby led weaning. I did a, what me and my nine month old eat in a day. I'll link that above if you are interested in that. It was a very realistic what we eat in a day. <laughs> so if you're curious, go ahead and check that out. But she's an incredible eater. As far as sleep goes, sleep has been going like pretty good. We're still stuck at like that 3 a.m. feed, but honestly, like my boobs are so full by 3 a.m. that I'm usually like totally fine getting up and feeding her at that 3 a.m. mark plus like, it's so routine, I just tend to wake up around that time anyway, but sometimes she'll surprise us and she'll sleep through the night once or twice a week these days, which is a lovely surprise. But then again, I'm not complaining, but like my chest is so full that it's like pretty painful. I really can't complain, but she does put herself to sleep. I haven't rocked her to sleep in like, honestly a long time, which is kind of sad. <laughs> But it's also not because it's freaking exhausting rocking a 20 pound baby just every time they take a nap or go to sleep. Like that is so exhausting. So I'm very grateful she that is a skill that she has. I pretty much always put her down awake. There's like very few times where she's just like dog tired and falls asleep before I can even get her. 
in her crib, but she pretty much sleeps like 7.30 to 7.30. And then for naps, she puts herself down for naps too. And I would say she takes like two roughly one hour naps a day. So she's been pretty consistent with that, except the last couple days, teething and all of that. She has been fighting naps. That first nap has been a little, little touch and go. But overall, she's like pretty consistent with it. And actually, her tooth finally broke through the surface like a few days ago, which is so sad. Like one thing like everyone always says about her and we always say about her is she has like the best gummy smile. Like look at this smile. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Now look at this tooth. She has a freaking tooth. She's up like a big kid now. She's an adult. She needs to get a job. But seriously, like, ugh. No more gummy smile. It's very, very, very sad. He's saying ma 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 ma, da 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 da. I feel like she, we all think she says yum, yum yum yum, because I always say that when she eats. And there's a song that we listen to that says like yum yum yum. So I think she says yum. And then she like angry babbles when she's like really pissed off. It's pretty cute. Freaking loves music. She loves to dance. She shakes her little booty. She's she's a good time. She's a really good time. Okay. I think that's pretty much the update for her. If you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, like you'll see her more in like her her natural habitat, but but I think that's it. First tooth, loves to eat, we covered sleep. I think that's it. She's the freaking cutest. That's all I gotta say. All right, now we're gonna talk about me. Talk about me, talk about I. Okay, I'm doing great. <laughs> gonna lie I have been feeling so good like in the past month I would say I feel like super motivated especially when it comes to like my YouTube channel and wanting to like take it more seriously treat it like a job I've just been feeling so motivated and inspired and I just have like a million ideas in a million different directions I have to kind of like reel it back a little bit but I've just been super excited I've been excited to get back in the gym Lily and I took a break going to the gym for like cold and flu season because it was just like ew and I took her back to the gym for the first time like a couple days ago and like 20 minutes in they sent me a text that said like parent snuggles needed and I went back in and she was just like in shambles. It was pretty sad, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm hoping she'll like readjust and you know, we'll try it a few more times and hopefully she kind of comes to you because she's such a social baby that I feel like that would be such a good setting for her. And the girls at the kids care at the gym I go to like love her. They're all super attentive and sweet and they know like text me if she starts crying, text me if she needs a diaper change, like they're just amazing. So it would just be so nice for me to have that it as, well, to, it would be so nice for me to have that as part of my routine again. I definitely do miss that. I freaking love my Peloton, but I do miss lifting weights. Like I feel like I need a little more balance with that. So I'm hoping, hoping she can adjust back to that. But all that being said, I've just been like, really enjoying my workouts, been feeling like it's such nice weather right now too. Like I just want to be outside. Like, I don't know. I just feel like focused and energized and happy and motivated. It's been super, super nice. And also kind of like what I was saying earlier about why I like this stage more is Lily's pretty good when her dad's not home. If Sean is home, she's like very distracted and kind of temperamental because she wants his attention. But it, when it's just me and her, like I can set her up in the living room with like her, she has her playpen, her ball pit, this like fu fuzzy little rug I got her. You know, I'll turn on some like super simple songs sometimes and she'll just like bounce back and forth between like the kitchen and the living room and she'll just crawl around, hang out. She, she can entertain herself. That's what I'm trying to say is like, I can finally fold a load of laundry, like put dishes away, like while she's awake. If you didn't watch my like unsolicited advice video, go watch that. But in that video, I talk about doing chores while your baby is awake. And I feel like it's this stage that that becomes like more of an option, you know, because at least for Lily, when she was like one, two, three months old, 
she didn't want to sit in a chair like I could wear her like baby wear her but up to a point like that's exhausting you know like, I don't want to do that all day every day so this stage has been so much more fun because most of the time she will entertain herself but it's just been so nice because the more I can get done while she's awake and she's trust me I'm not ignoring her we're talking to each other we're singing she's having a grand time she's exploring like it's a good time she enjoys it I'm not just like ignoring her but the more I can get done while she's awake the more like me time I have when she's asleep that's when I film these YouTube videos and edit and work out and anything that I want to do shower like that's when I can do it is when she's asleep so it's just been nice to have that me time integrated into my daily routine again and not just like power cleaning my house for an hour while she's asleep and then just being exhausted when she wakes up. So that's been like big game changer. And although most of the time I feel like great about that and I'm like best of both worlds, I do still struggle with like mom guilt. I feel like I should be in her face all day every day and that's just not realistic. It's not real life. It's not good for her. Like I want her to find her independence and explore and you know I don't want her to just completely rely on me for entertainment at for every second of the day. But mom guilt Mom guilt is a hell of a thing. I really struggle with this. Anytime someone else is watching her for me, I feel just guilty. I feel like I should be the one with her. Like, is she missing me? Like, does she think I left her? So I definitely still struggle with mom guilt. I don't think that probably really ever goes away. Also speaking of like working out, I really, you know, you hear the saying nine months in, nine months out, like give yourself grace. Like your baby's in your body for nine months. It takes nine months to like be back to where you were. And I'm sure for like some women that's the case, but I think for a lot of women, it takes more than nine months. <laughs> I was naive and I thought postpartum ended at six weeks and then you're like free and clear, you can do whatever you want and your body comes back and blah 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 and that's just not the case for me I'm definitely nowhere near where I thought I would be by nine months like I'm not in the shape that I thought I would be my body isn't doing what I thought it would or hoped it would and although I would way rather have like a six-pack by now I don't hate my body I'm very grateful for my body my baby other than like real food is exclusively breastfed so my body has a big job breastfeeding hunger is no freaking joke like I just my appetite is crazy and back in the day you know I could just like cut calories work out a couple times a day and like in a couple weeks I'd you know drop the weight that I wanted to drop but like that is just not the case <laughs> it's a little frustrating I won't lie because there are times where I miss a meal on accident, on purpose, whatever. Like I skip a meal and I can feel my supply drop like immediately. So it's a little disheartening, little disheartening, but it's fine. It's not about me right now, it's about her. And I still feel good. I feel like I'm getting my stamina back, my cardio is getting better. I wanna work on getting stronger, getting back in the gym, lifting weights, but I'm definitely not where I thought I would be. So it's a little like frustrating at times, but I'm also just trying to be very nice to myself. And if by any chance some man is watching this, like if your wife, girlfriend, whatever is kind of going through it postpartum, like this is the time to be extra sweet. Like I'd say for the first like at least year, I mean you should always be sweet, but for that first year after like she might be feeling some type of way and you have a big role and a big impact on how she views herself. Again, if there's any man watching this, you should take that really seriously and just tell your partner she's beautiful and support her in any way you can. This is not the time to try to push her back into the gym or compare her to herself pre-baby you're going to like really damage <laughs> damage her brain doing that you're gonna ruin postpartum for her but if there's any men watching this now's the time to be extra loving extra supportive tell her she's beautiful and leave it at that but yeah honestly overall like things have just been going super well i I'm getting better about asking for help. My mom and sister being so close is like such a blessing. They come over 
watch her for a couple hours so I can go out and they get to spend time with her obviously I want them to all have like a very strong solid bond and that's probably not gonna happen if I'm like always there down their throat and I don't know I'm hoping this momentum just continues and I would love for my channel to to go in some direction you know I'd love for it to take off in some way if anyone has any questions leave them in the comments down below my Instagram TikTok is linked I've been way more active go follow those accounts thank you guys so much for clicking on this video I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe get me to 500 subscribers come on I just have a really good feeling about 2023 and I would love to take you guys along for the ride so if that interests you don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!